Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina coming to you with another video. In today's video, we're going to open up a new shipment that I just got in and we're going to sublimate that product using the Cricut Mug Press. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. I shoot DIY project videos as well as cruise tip videos every week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you will not miss out. And if you're a beginner sublimator or you're just getting into sublimation or you've been in a sublimation and you're looking for some great products, make sure you check out my store, sidehustlequeencreation.com for tumblers, pillowcases, uh, keychains, uh, makeup bags. I'm steady adding to my store every single week. So make sure you check that out. And if you want to know what projects I'm working on from week to week or be the first to know what products just came in, make sure you become a member of my Facebook group, SideHustleQueenCreation.com. So on um, one of my boxes, look y'all. So I had to go ahead and start working on this because FedEx decided to deliver the box with a rip on the side. So one thing that I do is, um, and it takes about an hour or two, is make sure that when they come in, everything is in good condition. So I check the other boxes later, but I just wanted to check the ones where they had done ripped the box open. So um, this is a shipment that we have in, and we're gonna sublimate one today. And you know what, I really like this one because um, I do have some other um, kids cup that I was sublimating. And the thing about those was they came with like a line, like a separation right at the bottom. And it, and I had to always do extra work to to get that, to sublimate down at the bottom. And sometimes I just left the bottom unsublimated. And so since um, I switched suppliers and um, because of the quality of their work, I'm glad to know that these do not have that line on the bottom. So um, I'll show y'all, you guys an example um, after we, you know, I go in the room and make the print of the, my last batch of um, kids' um, tumblers that I had. So I really like these because it don't have that line. So the tumblers, all the kids' tumblers, they come with, as you can see, I just open it up. And even though FedEx got a hole in the box, there's nothing wrong with the cup. The cup is actually just fine. They come with sippy cup for, for smaller kids, which is another thing that I like about the kids' cup. Is uh, These cups are for all ages, and they really... Kids really love them. You, they get to get their favorite cartoon put on. And then if they pass the sippy cup stage, they come with an another lid and they all screw right on to the cup. If I can get this one on, let me see. There you go. They screw on. So the chances of them losing and them spilling their beverages and they actually come with a slide lid is, um, is very mess free. So I'm really happy with this is a shipment right here. I'm going to give you guys another look at something that came in yesterday. I'm not going to do a video on those because I don't want the YouTube to feel like I'm promoting smoking or anything like that. But I actually got these in. These are some 22 ounce fatties. They can, you can sublimate them. Oh, if I don't tear it up. These are really nice. I actually did one and sold one like a couple of weeks back. That's why I had actually asked my supplier to do me an order for, for them because I did a test. I got one as a test. So I just want to show you guys right quick. If, you, if you're in my store and you see them, they're super easy to put together. You sublimate the bottom. You put any picture that you want on your cup, uh, your hookah. Um, this goes in here. It also, you put your water or whatever in the bottom. It twists closed and it comes with everything that you need. So if you're looking for these, they, these are a hot item right now. Make sure you head over to my store and grab you some before they sell out. I do have a second shipment coming, but once they sell out, it might be up to two weeks before my next batch come in. So we're going to get right into the purpose of this video, and that's let's do a kid's cup using the Cricut Mug Press. So I'm going to go into my room and print out the design, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how 
I put my designs on my cup. We're gonna press it in the mud press and we're gonna see what it looked like. So let, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have gathered up everything that I need for this project. I got my cups. I'm actually gonna sublimate two. Uh, I got my heat tape. I got two kids designs, one for a girl, one for a boy. I figured since I was gonna do a little bit of sublimation, I'll go ahead and make these so that they will be available in my store because I do have customers that actually buy custom items as well as sublimation blanks. Um, one of the things that you will get when you buy a sublimation blank from me is every cup comes with a shrink wrap paper. So just in case you do use the shrink wrap method, you don't have to worry about you know, trying to find some shrink wrap paper that come with it. One of the things that I do before I supplement my cups, some people say they had problems with it, some people say and they don't. I do it every time I have never had no problem, is I just wipe my cup down with a little bit of alcohol. I take the little silver piece off the bottom, let it dry for a minute, and then I go ahead and place my design on it. So I'm gonna fold the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, once I get the, the design, because I'm going to speed up this process because it take a minute. Once I get the design taped on, shrink wrap, I put it in the heat press. Because of the kit, the um, mud press, the Cricut mud press, because the kids' tumblers pretty much already fit, they tall enough to pretty much fit all the way the whole length of the mud press, I turn it twice and then I flip it over and do it. Um, a, a minute and 30 seconds and then I turn it and do another minute and 30 seconds. So you guys will get to see all that being done in case you don't know how to wrap tumblers or you never wrap um, a tumbler before or you just new to the whole process. So um, let's get started with that. Okay, without me noticing that my camera died, you guys, I taped the designs to both, both of the cups. I basically cut my design to fit the cup perfect. For these, for the kids cup, at least the ones that I have, I always tell people that depending on who you buy your cups from, if you buy them from different suppliers, always measure your cups um, when you get them. If you buy them from Etsy, private, a private person, you buy them from me most of the time, I'm gonna start putting them in the description bar what size your cup should be um, when you print your images. So it'll be a lot easier when you buy sublimation blanks from me from me. But for the kids cup, the design that I cut for them is the width is 8.85 and the length is five. And that's give you a perfect fit with just a small amount overlay on your tumblers where the seam goes. So you will, won't get that white seam in between. Once I get them all taped up, I basically just take my print and I print it going side to side where the, the seam at, and then I just tape the top and the bottom with heat tape press. I use a um, I, um, heat tape. I pretty much use a feather heat press, a heat tape for the seam, and then I use a skinny um, tape for the middle. That's why you don't really see the middle part because that's a clear tape, it's feather. Okay, so once I do that, I shrink wrap my cups. Because um, the paper that comes with it is long, they don't really sell them like short for the kids' tumblers. I just always just cut them down and then shrink wrap it. And a lot of people don't use, some people use the um, the painter's tape method, um, different type methods. Some people don't use the shrink wrap method. I just do that because I haven't had no problems with burning or scorching any cups or anything like that because I use the mud press. And I just want to make sure that my design, that's that extra security to let, for my, let me know that my design is being held down. So all you do, and you can do this part with a hair blow dryer, or if you got a heat gun, this was a heat gun I used for epoxy. Now I use it for my tumblers. So um, just a little cheap heat gun, a high-end hair dryer, as long as it blow hot, it will melt the shrink wrap, okay? And basically you just melt it to the cup. Cups is shrink wrap. Only thing you're really doing is um is see how that's hard. That's 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 they're sturdy, making sure your design don't move while you're taking it in and out of the press. And um all you do is just make sure you don't see no air bubbles and get out as many lines as you want. Sometimes you might have the heat in one area a little bit too long, like right there. 
I don't know if you can see it on camera and get a hole in it, but it's fine. It's not going to do nothing to the design. So the next thing you want to do is we got the heat press. Was I had the heat press heating up while um I was pressing. When I was putting the shrimp drop on, I got my little Dollar Tree timer because I turned the cup three times at a minute and 30 seconds, then flip it over and turn it three times again at a minute and 30 seconds each. So the little Dollar Tree timer works just fine. With the Cricut Mud Press and because I'm using the shrink wrap method, I don't want, I already see some plastic on my element, but I want to keep as much um, plastic off my element as possible. So I try to make sure that my butcher paper, I put, put the butcher paper at the bottom. And um, you guys, this heat press, the oven, whatever you using for sublimation, that stuff get hot. So make sure that you get you a pair of um, heat gloves. You gonna need this. Cause when that's, when those cups come out of these ovens, even the Cricut mini, the Cricut um, mug press, it be very, very hot. This stuff be hot. So make sure you invest in your pair of or some type of heat resistant gloves. I'll put a link in the description box to the gloves that I have. They work really good. I do everything hot with them. So basically all I'm doing is wrapping my cup with a little bit of butcher paper because I don't want the plastic to sit to my mug press. And that's all I'm doing is making sure that it doesn't stick to the mud press because I want to keep it in good shape as long as possible. I will be getting me a sublimation oven. I think it's Heat Press Nation. I'm doing the research on it. They have an oven just for sublimation. And I believe I will be getting that one for Christmas. I'm doing the research on it now. So that's going to be my gift to myself for Christmas. As you know, with the, the mud press, it doesn't fill, it's for a mug, so it doesn't fill up the whole space when you're doing tumbles. So what I do is, I have these little, sil I bought a silicone mat and I leave a link to them in the description bar, and I just cut them up. When I do my 15 and 20 ounce mugs, I only need one, but when I do the kids' mugs, um, I usually need two just to fill up the space so that the cup will um, sublimate. So I just stick them in right where the hole is on the mug press and I go ahead and I let it rip. So I'm gonna fast forward through this part while I keep turning it. I'm gonna do a minute and 30 seconds, turn it, minute and 30 seconds, turn it, then I'm gonna flip it over, do a minute and 30 seconds three times and it'll be ready. Now that these babies are all done, let's see what they, how they look. Normally, I don't use butcher paper for my tumblers because I really like to see to make sure that the design sublimated through. And I normally use parchment paper, but I'm out today. So I'm crossing my fingers on these because I can't see through the butcher paper. Look how nice it came out. I do have some paper residue on the cup, but I'm gonna show you guys how to just wipe that right on off. But that is the first one right there. I picked this design. This is a new Disney cartoon character because of the um, vibrant color. And then the next one is going to be Spider-Man. And look how great Spider-Man came out. It's some paper residue, but I tend to go get a white and I'm gonna show you guys how to wipe it off. 
Okay, now that we got all the paper off, You'll probably see like little white residue. Just take your wet cloth. It's just the paper residue and wipe it right on off. That's all you have to do. If you see a lot on there, just take it to the sink and rinse it off. And look at that cup. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, nobody knows who you are. Nice, nice, vibrant. This is a really nice cup. Do you can I can tell the difference between a downloaded file and the file that I just cut and paste from off the internet, even though both of them came out really good, the downloaded file comes out a lot better. So just keep that in mind when you're making your cups to a download file looks really a lot more vibrant. You can see the difference. See how a file that I just cut and paste off the internet and a file that I actually just downloaded. So keep that in mind when you're doing your cups, okay? So I hope this video helped you guys. Um to learn how to sublimate your kids cups. They're going to love them. Make sure you head over to my website, sidehustlequeencreations.com and grab you a couple of these cups. They are available in my store right now. I am super loving this Spider-Man cup. So again, when you're doing your cups, make sure, when you're looking at, there's a difference between a, a cut and paste file versus a download file. So keep that in mind. It, it came out with a lot of color and nice and vibrant and everything, but I really love the download file. So I'm glad I did both to show you guys the difference. Sometimes you can get a good cut and paste file. Sometimes you can't, but um, I'm, it was a good trial for this video. So these still nice, very nice, very vibrant, very colorful. These cups sublimate very well. So make sure you head over to my website, sidehustlecreencreations.com. Use the code YouTube to get 10% off your order. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, everyone.